You're listening to Natural Powerlifting Radio. Today's hosts are Ashley Macon and Rob Wess. This is IBP Event Recap. Hello everybody and welcome to Natural Powerlifting Radio. We are here at CrossFit Bang Bang in Easley, South Carolina and we have just wrapped up our very first Iron Girl Powerlifting Event. This Woo! is a first for Iron Boy Powerlifting. It's an all-female event, and it was awesome. And we have several people on the podcast today. We've got some lifters, and we also have the owner of CrossFit Bang Bang, Haley Gann. What's up, Haley? Hi. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> all right. Good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Haley, do you want to introduce some of your friends you have there? I would love to. Uh, first of all, let me let me say thank you. We are extremely grateful uh just spilling over with gratitude for this opportunity um not only for our gym but for the female uh lifting community this is this is a gift and i hope that uh the women the awesome women that lifted today um take something very positive away from the event and carry that with them because we are just spectacularly excited that we have this opportunity um so thank you well, thank uh, you. We couldn't have done it without your facility. So, yeah, man, it was it was a sweet combination of awesome people. That's um, right. So we had we had five lifters today, and um, and of the five, four of them were brand new to um, Iron Boy Powerlifting, Iron Girl Powerlifting. Now, um, so there's a couple that I want to highlight because they are uh, important to what we're trying to do for different reasons. Um, my my good friend Melissa lifted today and we're going to call everything that she's done today miraculous um, whoop, amazing. Whoop. yes we are Go so proud of her. she should be very proud of herself um M- melissa uh has been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis um and over the course of the last half a year we've worked on different things aside from powerlifting. so this was her first meet back uh in a couple of years i just am I am overjoyed with how well it went for her. And, and it certainly wasn't about um, numbers. It was about being brave enough to get up on the platform. She did it. I would love for you guys to hear from her um, recounting her experience. And another thing about that is that that shows that people get into the sport for many different reasons. And it's not always about the big lifts. That's right. Uh, and, well, and that's what makes it so awesome. Lifts. I'm sorry. It's not about the big list. Let's be real. But <laughs> it's also, um, there's a community, right? You know, because honestly, powerlifting myself, the way I have, I fell into powerlifting actually a couple of years ago, tried CrossFit and fell in love with the, the lifting aspect. So I didn't need a group to do it. I just needed my, a couple, a barbell and some weight. So I set myself up at home and would check in regularly with Haley. And just would lift the hell out of everything all summer long. Um, and the diagnosis last year, really, it's my body that's trying to figure out what the heck to do, you know? My body still wants yep. to pick up things. I still want to lift heavy. Um, and it's, and it's we, could, just, we could tell you enjoyed yourself. And well, yeah, enjoyed oh, I'm enjoyed the enthusiasm as well. I love people. I love competing. It's a good time, man. It's, a, it's the right kind of people, right? It's the right kind of attitude. You know, you, know, you got to bring that. Uh, absolutely. With. You know, that's um, right. That, it's it's that's and right. It, it isn't about the numbers. It's just getting up there and trying to. Damn it! Do I wish I would have got some? Yes, that is exactly. going to haunt me. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Okay, well, I'm glad that Melissa could be here today. We're really, um, we're just so proud of her. Um, we'll see more out of her as well. We're on the comeback. <laughs> uh, some some other people that are important to uh, to the day. Um, so I want to I wanna talk about Jess Crater, JP, um, as you'll hear me scream her name. She is a coach here at Bang Bang and um, somebody that I admire very much, somebody that I sought out for a long time to be a part of this um, amazing machine that we're growing. So she, uh, she decided kind of last minute, one of those bump it, we're just doing this thing. And she showed out. Uh, I enjoyed very much in watching her lift. She's she's like a like a robot. 
She yeah. will do everything yeah. exactly <laughs> right every single time, whether it's an empty barbell or 500 pounds. Um, right. She's one of one of the one of the entertaining ones for me, and and has grown significantly um, as a lifter, also. So her perspective would be really interesting to hear, having um, more of that coaching aspect. JP, tell us. Hey, you guys. Um, <laughs> so I was super nervous. I, I actually did not officially sign up until last night because I don't know new things are scary, I guess. Um, and doing them with everybody staring at you in like skin tight clothes uh, kind of makes any of them better. <laughs> but you know what? Like, um, barbell has bought brought balance to my life um and so uh, last night it was kind of one of those bump it moments where I was like you know what like I trust this I trust that um everything that I've done inside CrossFit Bang Bang from a CrossFit perspective has me prepared enough to jump in and live life and you know I mean we say it all the time we're hybrid athletes we're made um to move well and to to do whatever we want in life that's the that's right. the goal um, I feel extremely privileged to have been a part of this today and to be a part of Bang Bang. Um, you know, it's, it brings truth. It brings balance. And, uh, I think that that is part of the process of progress. And that's, you know, what I think is always the goal. Progress right. over perfection. Okay. Uh, that's Jess. Jess. I love Jess so much. Um, Another person that I care about greatly, um, she did not lift. She has in the past for Iron Boy, but she did not this time because she's incubating a human. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a really important thing to do. And it's, it's really super hard when you are watching all of your comrades do amazing things and, and you maybe aren't able to for, for different, very awesome reasons. So I um, am, I'm interested and I'm a little bit curious to see what, my wonderful friend, Damber, uh, <laughs> what she thought of the me in general of our girls and answer this. Was it so hard to just sit there and watch it? It was hard, but it was still just as exciting as if I would have been out there lifting because sure. like you <clears throat> said, it's community and being here and watching the girls from Bang Bang and talking to them and like, I'm with Jess. I may cry right now. <laughs> uh, just seeing a vision and how like all this stuff that you want here at Bang Bang. And then to see Iron Boy bring in Iron Girl and like, it's just, it's amazing to see it all happen. Um, I was very sad. I did not get to lift today because once Haley you told me in boot camp when we were our last night of boot camp you wanted me in powerlifting and I've been hooked ever since <laughs> and so I'm like craving some heavy weights right now but I don't have to wait until next year but yeah this whole thing was just awesome and so excited to be here and see just see it all happen and still get to be well, a part I've of I've warned it. a few competitors I've warned a few competitors today that there would be some heavy hitters in the future. So that was <laughs> pointing the finger at you. Faces on, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this, it's been a great day. Yeah, I agree with that. It really has been such an awesome day. Um, yeah, there are a lot of people to thank, too. Uh, we have two girls here that uh, aren't a part of Bang Bang. But certainly now always have this place as a second home. Um, and I think that they are, uh, they're going to share a few words. Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, I'm Skylar. <laughs> I'm Tessa. And um, we actually just decided about a month and a half ago that we, we were going to do this competition. <laughs> yeah, so we only trained for like a few months. Yeah, and go off. You guys were amazing. Woo! And this is actually my first competition too. So to Ow! win, awesome. Yeah, to win the overall, that was really awesome. Yeah, and I mean, this has been an outlet for me for years mm -hmm. for many things, and um, 
like getting the trophy was cool, but like I, I impressed myself t- today. And, mm-hmm. and that's what it's all about, I think. Yeah. Awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I was super excited. That was, this has been so, so much fun and I'll definitely be doing this again. Absolutely. Dude, that's, that's so cool to hear. I hope that um, word is spread about the awesomeness that was had here today because I think that not one person in this room walked away feeling like it was not worth their time. I think we inspired many people to do hard things, to uh, step outside of their comfort zones, to, to truly embrace that guts over fear mentality. Um, it's, it's the juice, it's the stuff, right? right. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's the goosebump inducing um, amazingness that, that we are seeking. And today was definitely had. Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. we did the dang thing. Yes, we did. Word. <laughs> Word. <laughs> that's cool. You definitely did do the bang thing. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we did have a lot of really good competitors today. And, and another thing that I always love seeing are groups of youth and teenagers. And we had a group from a high school in North Carolina. Um, see if I remember the name of it. Uh, it's slipping Chase, my mind. Chase right High now. School. Chase okay. High School. There you go. Okay, so they brought five girls with them, and they brought it. They brought it to the platform. They, they were amazing. Awesome job. Dude, mm-hmm. yes. yes. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. those girls are like 16, 17, and 18 years old. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like 30? Like, are you uh, serious? <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. impressive. <laughs> um, and I, I think that I, I spoke with their coach, Mike, who's super awesome and, and really handled all of those girls very well. Um which I, I guess 16 or 17 could be a lot to handle if they weren't serious. But those, those girls came game faces on, um, right. you know, when we say they did the, the damn thing, they, those girls, 17 years old already got it. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. To, to, yeah. to just encourage and inspire them to grow in the sport is really all that our job is at this point. Um, they are, True. they are motivated, a very awesome group to watch. Um, mm-hmm. and we'll be seeing them soon. That's right. awesome. So- all right, do we have any other guests on the podcast today? I'll make sure I'm not missing anybody. I don't I don't know that any of the people that has helped today is on the podcast, oh, but okay. I would like to thank everybody that did uh, participate in, you know, on the platform, putting it together across the board because everybody that was part of it uh, played an important role in making it happen. I agree. Yes. Thank you to everybody who made this happen. You know, of course, CrossFit Bang Bang and Haley and all of her support team and um, all our spotters and loaders, judges, all of it came together just beautifully today. And I'm so excited that we have another one in the works, another Iron Girl in the works. Woo! And I think it's going to be even better. So this, I think it's gonna this, be is gonna, this is going to grow to be one of our bigger events of the year. It's going to um, blow up. I'm, I'm I'm already seeing that. I think between the two groups, we have uh, just an awesome team going forward for for really however we want to move this amazing tool. But 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 truly, it is it is our pleasure, it is our honor, it is such a gift, and we come with humble gratitude to um, to Iron Boy, to now Iron Girl Powerlifting for this this opportunity to, to change lives, to inspire women, to uh, create community, um, to love one another well, to grow the best way that we're able to. Um, unending gratitude. Thank you guys very, very much. Well, well thank said. you for awesome. teaming up with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. Thank you, everybody, for listening today. I hope that you'll tune in again another time. And don't forget, you can visit ironboypowerlifting.com to see all of our upcoming events. And y'all have a good one. Talk to you later. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Up next is the IBP Northeastern Carolina Raw Push Pool in Norlana, North Carolina on June 22nd. We hope to see everyone there. Please subscribe and thank you for listening. Be sure to follow at Iron Boy Powerlifting on social media for all the latest updates.